So, Asli Taylor from uh, Mosnodia, you're the managing director. Hello, Dave. And, hello. And uh, you've been managing director for uh, three, three, years, three years. Yeah, okay. three years now. Uh, now, this year there have been uh, a number of changes within the organisation. Mark Graham coming yeah. in as the new CEO across the, the group. How has that impacted on Mosnodia? Right. Okay. Well. Um, it's actually been actually over the, the last few years we've had quite a few changes, but Mark coming in has had the biggest impact on us. Um, really, we, there was this move towards sort of a centralisation of, uh, of the brands within Loud, and Mark has reversed that uh, and really created an excitement within Martin Audio and within the other brands. I'm sure if you talk, you'll be talking to the other guys as well. You know, where the, there is this drive now with everybody it feels like the old days again so uh, and with that that's getting communicated out to the market communicated and the customers are, are feeling it as well so you know we're back in control we're masters of our own destiny again and, and we love that really love it so so um, there's a lot of talk of uh, double dip recession and possibly bleak times ahead yeah. um, or bleakish times at least um, yeah. have you found well how have you found the markets this year you're and, a doommeister, uh, aren't you? I know, but <laughs> a lot of people are talking about that. Um, strangely enough, it's been a great year for us. I mean, uh, so despite what's going on, it's actually our best year ever. Yeah, yeah I mean, it really... Uh, and again, that's sort of linked to in as well. I mean, from the change happened in November, December. Uh, and and then we've just had this huge uplift in business. because. So I suppose that helps with the positiveness. Um, but... Uh, Primarily, a lot of it has come from the success of MLA. We knew that was uh, going to be the big product for us. It's done fantastically well. It's now spread most, over most continents. You know, it's in China, Japan, uh, lots of European countries. There's several systems in different countries. Uh, the vibe in America is is really strong. We've uh, we've got several rental companies out there taking it on, and there's lots of discussions happening. So that is really, you know, we're all feeling fantastic, great about that. I'm mean, really proud. So. Well, I was there at the launch of the multicellular line array. Was it no multicellular linear array? No, uh, it's multicellular loudspeaker array. Loudspeaker array, right. Yeah, and you have me on the spot there <laughs> <Yeah>. as well. <laughs> so used to calling it MLA. <laughs> um, but I, I knew when it was launching in Antwerp of last year that yeah. it really was something significant. Yeah. And, and, and what was your experience of it? I'm oh. going to interview you now. You now. <laughs> I stood at the back of that, uh, that square and I heard the drop off yeah. in the sound as you moved out of the... Uh, the the zone where it was designed to fill. Um, yeah, and that's a great thing about it. And that, that's what I remember from that as well, is you could just, you could, you could have your conversation at the dinner table in the back of this square with all the restaurants right. around it, and then step two meters in, and then you've got the sound yeah. and you've got, you know. It, it was unreal. It's it really stunning, was. yeah. So, it's proven. so where have we seen uh, the MLA? Uh, you mentioned the territories, but what kind of application? Has it been used uh, in uh, venues where they have issues with with noise levels or with uh, yeah definitely I mean that's one of its strongest points it's really I mean for me there's three you can really boil it down to three key areas where it, it's just it's something different from anything else in the market firstly it is because of the control so within within uh, inside environment or outside actually you it, you can you can eliminate all reflections you can actually specify what you require in terms of sound pressure levels uh, you can have it quiet behind the speakers if you've got a problem behind, you know, you want the stage quieter. So you can, you know, that kind of control isn't available elsewhere. Secondly, it is just what we were just talking about there in the square. It's the, 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 the environmental issues, the noise pollution, which is a big issue in cities where you, uh, or like in Victoria Park as well, recently with the field day concert, where you can get much higher sound pressure levels in, in, within the the sound in, within the audience environment and get it to drop off uh, where that where the measurements are happening so you got got that control it just lifts the whole concert it's you know it, much more exciting delivery the the, the vibe the, the the excitement that we're actually getting from the promoters as well when they're experiencing this uh, and, and so uh, is that just transfers back into us but it is really you sort of see jaws drop and 
uh, and smiles and you know it, it, so it, it, it's people don't necessarily believe it first off so <laughs> you know that's what happens is you see that yeah I wasn't sure and they listen to it and they're going wow it really does do it so that's great and finally it's scalable I mean that's the third thing I was going to say it's yeah. uh, you know so it can go to, it can handle a sort of a, a smaller venue console hall right the way up to stadium so you can keep it more active you know and get really get the return from it so okay. So finally, there's my sales pitch. Well, <laughs> I'll, I'll buy two. Yeah, um, good. So finally, uh, Martin Audio is 40 this year. Yeah, we How are. Does that, how does that feel? Well, yeah, the grey hairs are showing, eh? But um, it feels, um, it feel, you feel proud. I mean, actually, you do reflect when you hit 40. As a person, you sort of have a few reflections on things, and I think um, for me, it's about the impact that the company has had on the people that have been connected, whether it's the customers, the people, the, the guys who have worked in the company and developed it. And the longer it goes on, you touch, exponentially touch a lot more lives. So when you reflect back on something like that, Martin Audio becomes its own entity in that it, 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 has, um, it's, it, just, it, it has a greater impact, it has a greater legacy and uh, it feels something, you become more and more proud of what, what you're actually doing and who you're working for each day. So yeah, it's a, it's a good place to be. Anthony, thank you very much. Thanks, Dave.